Okay, I want to talk about effect size. Effect size, E-F-F-E-C-T, has to do with how big an impact does your independent variable have on the dependent variable. So how big an impact does your IV have? Um, now if you remember, with um, T-tests, ANOVAs, which are testing for differences in the averages between your groups, um, the farther apart they are the better, right? Because that's your between group difference. The farther part it is, the bigger uh, impact or bigger effect size your IV had. So I have a couple of curves here. I don't know if you can see them. But here, the top, we've got our two curves for my two groups. I've got two groups in my study. And there's a lot of overlap, right? And here's their averages at the peak. Okay. So, you know, maybe that's a small effect. Now compare it down here, I have curves that are just as wide, standard deviation hasn't really changed, but they're, they're less overlap, they're spread farther apart. The between group difference in the mean, the average, is much bigger. So this would be a bigger effect size. Now part of the effect size is just kind of inherent in the independent variable. So when I gave the two groups different instructions for our memory experiment, those instructions were going to just do what they do. And you know, I can try and get one group to do um, deep cognitive processing and another to do shallow processing. And as long as I can get those two different cognitive styles going, okay, it's going to do what it does to your memory. There's some limit to, I can't make an IV have more of an effect. But as a researcher, part of the control comes in how I basically dose. What's the dosing I give you? I mean, think of a drug study and you're going to get zero milligrams and you're going to get 10 milligrams and you're going to get 11 milligrams. Do you really think the 10 versus 11 milligrams are going to be measurably different? No, probably not. So maybe I want to have zero and 100 milligrams and 500 milligrams and 1,000 milligrams. You know, so I can dose my IV in a way that I think I'm going to measure something. I'm going to get an effect. Um, same if I'm doing a, a study on does television watching, you know, make kids uh, get bad grades or behave poorly. I'm not going to have a, you know, five hour a week group and a six hour a week group. I'm going to have like a zero hours a week, 10 hours a week, 25 hours a week. I mean, those are going to, you know, produce some real effect sizes. So you have a little bit of control as a researcher in what you do there. Um, but to some extent, the IV is going to do what it does and you, you know, you can't really have more impact. But effect size is all about impact. So the bigger the impact, the easier it is to see that statistical significant difference between your groups. Okay. So that's what effect size means.